should have known. I should have known. This is horrible. I should have known. I should have known. Like. Hey guys, so I know I've completely slacked on the vlogging this week mostly because a lot has been going on this week. Um, I just had to step back a little bit and do more business stuff like handle some things behind the scenes. So I didn't get to vlog much this week, but I do have a lot of packages to open up stuff that's finally coming in. So this week you won't have a full long vlog. I'm gonna try to pick up the camera here and there. I have some friends coming in town. And we're just gonna chill out, relax at the house. So yeah, Vicky's coming in with her sister, Robin. Um, we both have a little sister named Robin. Crazy, I know. Because you guys really enjoyed the unboxing. So I'm gonna do that. I was also gonna say something. Hi everyone. Oh, sorry. You have oh, oh, Isla, they really loved your bug scene, the my last video, the last bugs. vlog. When you sh when you were teaching them about the bug that uh, sheds the skin. But why? It's gross and gross. I don't know, but they liked it, girl. Hmm. Probably, probably because cause Daddy was here. Yeah, maybe Daddy. so. I think they love you, too, though. I don't care if they love you. You don't care if they love you? Yeah, I love myself. You love yourself, that's right. She says she don't care if y'all love her. She love herself. <laughs> Last night, something crazy happened to me. I feel like I have to like tell you guys this because I don't know, I wanna be always be transparent as possible with you all without going into too many details because I know when people talk money, a lot of people get uncomfortable and things like that and that's never my intention. So I won't put the number on it, but I will say that um, during this entire pandemic, like business-wise, we've taken some hits. But when I tell you God has been finding a way to show up and show out every single time, every single time, like last night, I just got so overwhelmed with gratitude. I don't even know if that makes sense, but so my closet is like my safe, my safe zone, like my prayer space where I go and lock myself in the closet, not lock myself, but like close myself in the closet because it's pitch dark and I just pray all the time. I get on my knees and I pray because I feel the closest to God on my knees and just by myself. And last night I just was just like overflowing and in like emotions. Like I just couldn't stop crying, but it wasn't even me asking God for guidance or anything. It was just me just simply saying, thank you. And I just needed that. Just this whole week has just been, every time one door closes, another one opens and it's bigger and it's better. And I don't know, I just, Last night, it was just so emotional. I'm still really emotional just thinking about it and just thinking about everything that's just been happening. And I'm so grateful. Like, um, I also signed my contract and wiring money to my, uh, my manufacturer. So I'm like about to actually start putting in the physical, physical work. Like it's already been work going in physically, working time, but it's about to get like real, real. So that's been really overwhelming and exciting and unreal. Like I just, and I just needed time to just be, just live in the moment and just be grateful and thankful for everything that is happening right now. And I cannot wait to share more with you. Like I've been asked in the past, what is something that I would wanna be remembered for most? And 
One thing that I truly and thoroughly enjoy doing, enjoy doing is always giving back. Always find a way to give back. And I just am so thankful that my entire life, even when I've had little to nothing, my entire life I've been able to always give back. Whether it's been time, whether it's been just listening, whether it's just been physically being there for somebody, I thoroughly enjoy giving back and I thank God for being able to always pour blessings upon me to always be able to fulfill my ultimate my ultimate um, goal and dream of always just giving back. And even if it's just giving small businesses um, a platform by sharing their products on my platform. So things like that. I, I really thoroughly enjoy that. Um, someone asked, this is so random, but I think it just popped in my head because I'm talking about giving back. But one of the reasons why I always collect boxes and things like that is because Every single time the kids grow out of something, I am packing it up. I make sure the kids' clothes are nice and clean. I always try to keep their clothes like staying free, hole free, things like that. Um, just so I can give it to someone else. I never throw things away. I do not believe in throwing things away. I always believe that someone else can put it to good use. So, yeah, that's what I do with their clothes for the person who asked that in the last video. I give all their clothes and shoes away. Um, yeah, that's what I do. So yeah, so I just thought that I would just um, at least pull you guys up to tell you where I've been, what's been going on. Um, and hopefully this week I'm going to be able to vlog a lot more. Again, I'm going to have company and I'm real protective with my company and the people I put on camera. A lot of people don't want to be on camera and that's fine. I I can't blame them. I don't be want to be on camera sometimes, but hey. It comes with the territory, okay? So I'm about to show you guys some things that I picked up from Sephora. I'm waiting on one more package. They sent me two. First up, we have this Sephora pencil, and I'm gonna link everything that I bought in the description box, so check it out if you miss whatever I am saying, because I always have questions. Okay, so I got this um, Sephora brown lip pencil in the shade Molasses. It's supposed to compare to the MAC Chestnut Lip Pencil, which is why I got it because that is my, one of my favorite pencils and I love a brown liner. Then I got this, um, what is this called? Okay, <laughs> okay, I got this Beauty Counter C Serum. It's um, supposed to help brighten the skin, you know, give you that pretty glow. It had really good reviews, so I wanted to try it. I've never tried this brand before. Just thought I'd give it a try. And then I got this Derm... I really enjoy the Dermalogica products, okay? So I got this Dermalogica SPF 50 sunscreen. Um, looks like that. Because, again, you guys know that I'm doing laser hair removal and they always recommend a SPF 50 or higher for the protection of the skin. And yeah, I don't be out in the sun anyway because I stay in the house, but... Steel sunscreen is very, very important. I also got the Dermalogica. Oh, I had a re up on my daily micro exfoliant. This is a powder, but once you wet it, it acts, activates into like a cleanser. So, yeah, I really, really enjoy this. It's a brightening powder, so it helps with my hyperpigmentation. What I believe it helps. I've been seeing it. this is my second bottle of this, so I really enjoy it. These are palettes that I've got. I got the Sunrise and the Bronze palette. Do y'all want me to open these or no? Asha Denona Sunrise and Bronze palettes. I got the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder in Honey because I've been hearing really great things about this. I enjoy the Translucent one and the Dark Deep and I really think Honey is just gonna be the perfect of the two. I got the Beauty Counter Clean and Pore Cleanser because again, it had really, really good reviews and I just wanted to try it out. I got the Pat McGrath Concealer. This isn't my highlighting shade. This is more of like a color correcting shade. So yeah, my highlighting shade was all sold out. So I'm waiting for that one to restock so I can buy the highlighting shade. I also got the Ole Hendrickson um, sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream. You guys know. This is one of my favorite moisturizers. I believe this one was free with my points, so that's why I got it. 
Then I also got the Beauty Counter Brighting Facial Oil. I don't know why I got this. I think it had really good reviews and it just made me get it. So I'm gonna probably use all of those together and I'll let y'all know how that works for me. Then I got the Patrick Ta She's an Influencer Lip Gloss. It's a pink lip gloss with purple, blue, gold, and pink reflexes. Super cute. You wanna try this? Yes, please. I'm gonna put some on my eyelid. And it smells good. You wanna smell? Smells, smells like peppermint. Mm -hmm. It's just a lip gloss. Go look in the mirror. Mm -hmm. Show them. They can't see. Oh wow, so cute. Here we get. Then I got this um, shower cap. It was free with my points, so I went ahead and grabbed it. A cute little shower cap for Isla's hair when I don't want her to wet her hair up. So. So I'm excited to try out this stuff. And I'll keep you posted as always. I also got some, this towel rack that I'm gonna put in our master bathroom. And I got this um, picture frame that I'm gonna show you a little bit later because the boxes are really big for some odd reason. But it's from this company called CB2. I found them on Instagram because their ads are always playing and I'm always looking for furniture to finish furniture in the house. And I like to shop little by little so then everything looks different and you're not getting everything from one store so i'm really taking my time filling up and furnishing the house i also did find a picture that's gonna go right here in the middle of the mirrors and i think i'm gonna get it from um from crate and barrel but yeah that's about all i'll pull you guys up later i don't even know where to start but hey, the last time you guys saw me, I don't even remember because I haven't vlogged because my friends were in town and they extended their stay. So they've been here for a while. I was in tutoring. We just received her birthday gift from me. I'm trying to whisper so she won't hear me. You all know how motherly Isla is. She's such a girly girl and... We were online and I was gonna buy her like a um, American Girl doll that looked just like her and things like that, but she really wanted a baby. And so I was searching the web for like real like babies, silicone babies. I'm gonna insert the pictures of what we should have got. The doll was so stinking cute. So I ordered. But this doll is just now arriving, you guys. Her birthday was August 8th. I ordered it in, I wanna say early July, and I'm just now receiving it. September, by the way. Um, and it's nothing like what it looked like online. Well, first of all, it came in parts. I had to stick the legs into the doll. It's sitting right here. Some of y'all may think, oh, it's not that bad, but if you see the picture of what it was supposed to look like versus what it actually looks like, I can't. It's the hair for me. Y'all look at her. Like, why would they like me like this? I'm praying that she loves this doll because it's the hair for me. Look at her little ball patches. She has these, I would say reddish brown eyes. Her eyes were supposed to be dark brown. She kind of looks scary. really scary. Her legs don't match her body, like the color of her legs. Her legs are like more of a reddish. Do you see that red pigment? Girl, we got bamboozled. I don't even know if her legs will stand straight at all. Yeah, 
you know, they want. What y'all think, grandbaby or no? Mamas, please, if you know anywhere, please tell me in the comments. Um, YouTube will block, block certain comments that leave websites. So try to type it out where it's not like a website. But if you know anywhere or any person who makes the real baby-like silicone dolls, let me know in the comments. I need help. I can't. I can't take this loss like this. I'll sit her in the corner right there. So when Isla comes to get her snack, she'll see her. Yeah, why I come with a bottle? <laughs> I should have known. I should have known. This is horrible. I should have known. I should have known. I'll bring up the camera before she even gets up. I'm going to just go sit over there near her so I'll know. Whew, got a headache. Okay, go get your snack. What are you going to get for a snack? Pardon me? What are you going to get for a snack? Uh, let's see here. Hmm, which one's good? Aha! Good. Okay, close it. What's the matter? Do you see anything? No. Look, I think your baby's crying. <gasps> Is she pretty? She's so beautiful. Does she look how you thought she would look? I didn't know she was gonna look like this. She looks so <laughs> chunky. Oh, you didn't know she would look like that? She looks so beautiful. Do you like her hair? Yes. Oh, okay. What's her name again? Her name is August. I can't believe she got. I knew it. I knew it. I just knew she would fall. Yeah. Take the passy out. The passy. How is it? It looks, it looks like her tongue is up. Yeah, she's looking a little... I think she, that's her trying to talk. And look at her little hand. She looks so big! I'm definitely not going to leave her at the house. Okay. So okay, have your snacks so you can go back to tutoring. Okay. You like her, Isla? Yes, I love her. You love her? Okay, well that's all that matters. Mom, can you please open this? Cause she, I think she. Yeah, I can't wait for your dad to see her too. I wonder how well, she loves it, and that's all that matters. They're installing our um, bathroom mirrors right now, so once Isla's done with tutoring, we're gonna run to the store. So guys are like Make it. sure to leave comments on where I could find the real deal. You like your August? I love her. She, so pretty. she went with the name August because she got it for her birthday. So, mommy, her hair looks so tangly. It looks tangly. Yeah. But be careful, cause she she's really, really, really so old. She's old. Yes. Why is she old? She's little because she she was just already born. Okay, I'll pull you guys up when we go to the store. The, the second that I turned off the camera, Isla said her legs look what? Reddish. Reddish? Mm -hmm, but this one doesn't look that reddish. Yeah. But she's still really pretty. She's still really pretty? That's all that matters. Yes. We can put her on some pants to cover up her legs since they don't really match with her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, her mouth is like. <laughs> her mouth looks like her her tongue is up. You can't really tell, probably. But she still looks a little cute. She's like, uh. Yeah. <laughs> I was waiting so long, Mommy. Yeah, we waited so long for her. Yeah, and it took a while. But still, look, she finally, oh, she finally came. 
And her body was so cute. I don't know if we can feel it up for real life. Probably not. We can just pretend. Yeah, not for real life. Yeah. She almost looks like a real baby. Okay, we gotta take you back to tutoring. Okay. Okay. Mm. We gotta go. Hey y'all, just wanted to show you guys the kids' bathroom. We got their mirror installed the other day, so the cleaners put this out here. I don't know if I told you guys, but I did hire some cleaners. They come every every two weeks, but they'll come and like do all the baseboards. They come and stand on the ladders and clean like all the shelving and the lights and everything like that. So they really deep clean and I love it. They'll come like clean all the high mirrors and all the corners and crevices. So. I've been loving that and so yeah, once I start homeschooling, I probably won't be able to clean as much so I'm probably gonna hire them once. What'd you say? I was see people. Okay, I'm probably gonna hire them once a week. Isla says she wants to talk to the people. So, I have this new baby. Mommy made her hair. Yeah, I fixed the doll's hair to try to make it look a little bit better. She's only zero years old. She's zero years old. And what's her name? Her name is August. August. You want to show them how she looks now? She looks changed in her pajamas. Her little cute. Is she's she cute? Little... Yeah, she's so cute. Tell them what um, your dad said. My dad said um, he's... She looks like a Halloween baby? Yes, but she's not. Okay. She's my little baby. But yeah, that's it. House is all clean. We got mirrors and stuff. Relaxing around the clean house. That's all. Chris is outside washing the trash cans, like our dumpsters. But yeah, that's all for now. We're about to enjoy our little Chick-fil-A. I don't know if this is where you guys are, but they have this mango tea. Highly recommend. Wow, this is a huge fly in here. But okay, I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. Oh, you about to lose your life. Hey y'all, um, I've been horrible at my vlogging, um, but it's just been a lot going on. Look, I'm a little bit down because it's just always something, you know? Um, I had my wax appointment today. My usual wax specialist was out sick today. Allergies, not Rona, okay? But she was out sick, so I had to see another person. And she kind of left a whole bunch of wax on me. <sighs> and yeah, that happened. I don't know, I just don't want to get on here complaining. How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? I'm, I'm exhausted already and today's only Wednesday. I'm supposed to be cleaning the kitchen, which I'm about to do right now. Um, tomorrow I have my laser hair removal. This is my third session, I believe. So I'm gonna vlog all tomorrow. And I know like this has just been so off and all over the place. I apologize. I've had a ton of packages coming because as you all know, I'm homeschooling the kids and I've been ordering so many fun um, like school activities and stuff. So I'm gonna show you guys um, our, our full playroom slash classroom once I'm done uh, and yeah tomorrow I'll just see you tomorrow for my laser hair appointment because I know you a lot of you guys were inquiring I didn't know so many people were interested in laser hair removal but apparently it's very popular especially for black women not all laser hair removal places specialize in african-american skin the place that i've been going to i really really like i did thorough thorough research like literally been looking at them for maybe six months before i decided to book and uh yeah i'll tell you guys everything i'll even show you what i paid for i know people act funny when you gotta talk money and prices but i'm gonna show you everything like my full receipt and everything and everything that i get so yeah I'll see y'all tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow's a better day, but tonight I'm just, I'm exhausted. Let's end on a positive though. I just got the email from my graphic designer that my final logo for my brand is done. And 
I can't wait to share. Y'all will get the first sneak peek, okay? Y'all will be the first ones to know, okay? Because y'all my real ones.